All right, so for the next update, I will be concentrating on Michigan International Speedway, which is my personal home track, the NASCAR track closest to where I am. Well, the main what I noticed in the 2022 race is that the top speeds that cars were able to hit on fresh tires was about 205 miles an hour going into turn one. And the average lap time was around 37 and a half seconds. I'll just pull it up here so you can see. Uh, very three and four wide is common on the restarts. Restarts do get a little bit bunched up at first, but at the same time, I didn't want it to make it to where it was just caution after caution because Michigan has always been like a fuel mileage track anyway. And speaking of that, it actually works out perfect because in real life, the fuel mile, my, the fuel window is 50 laps and it's 50 laps for the AI as well. So it would be pretty. So if you have a race with no cautions, you're going to be very, very close if you want to try to hit it too the finish line at 200 as for grip i've noticed that the racing line which is actually it's not the black area it's the white in between the outside pj1 and the inside group that's what's considered the best racing line so the middle group is the best but you can see i'll try to pull an example here between the 55 and the one you can try to get past the one here if you go more to the inside but as you can see here as the one slides up the track that he can get a pretty good run so it really ensures that that it really does not matter which lane you use. It's just more about catching up in the draft, being technical with it. There's a lot of different ways you can pass on this track. Other than that, pit road speed is 55, pace speed is 60, and tire wear and stuff, again, I really did not have to worry about because it was already set to as realistic as it was in 2019. I just edited a little bit to make sure that it was fitting with the next gen car.